Welcome back to the morning show here on Arise News. Joining us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world is Arise News analyst Emmanuel Efini, the great Malabite. Good morning. Good morning, Ruben. Good morning, Rufai. Morning, Welcome sir. back. Are you all the way Thank from Bahamas? Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> we, say Penny, good morning. we saw your beautiful report, and I'm sure you had time to also enjoy the, the atmosphere in that environment. We started the review with this day, Nigeria's newspaper of record. We start with the lead story, minimum wage, consider economic realities. Tripartite committee tells organized labor. TUC, NLC, selfish. India negotiation says PDP shifted. Well, the issue of the minimum wage is very much in the front burner because um, no figure yet that will be sent to the National Assembly. Perhaps that will happen when the National Assembly resumes. But the discussion is hard. And um, of course, a number of persons, one of them, Chief Onusuke, PDP chieftain, accusing labor of being selfish and that labor should rather be talking about um, how to improve uh, productivity. Well, the chairman of the tripartite committee also has his own uh, say. And um, he's saying that um, labor should take into consideration uh, the economic realities. Well, to be fair to labor, <laughs> what they've been basing their calculation on is the economic realities in Nigeria today, what it will cost to take um, a worker home, the pay, take home pay that would indeed take a worker home and back before the month uh, comes to an end for another way, uh, salary. And um, the government is taking for now 62,000 naira. And even at that, that amount, some state governments, of course, governors have come out to say, they cannot even pay that. And of course, you have to remove uh, Governor Baseki from the list of those governors uh, because he is already paying uh, 70,000 naira to uh, those state workers, which, according to him, he planned to do three years ago and worked towards it. Now, the reality, the inflation figures came out over the weekend. Food inflation over 40%. And of course, the inflation, 33.95%. And these are realities, economic realities, which the Nigerian worker face every day, and they feel it. Well, those who talk about deceleration of uh, the inflation figure, because we have increase in the inflation figure for the 17th consecutive month. And uh, no matter the deceleration you talk about, what the impact is that the prices of goods continue to go up. And that is the economic realities the Nigerian worker face. What will the president come up with eventually? It's a question that labor will still want to hear and answer to. But the Guardian newspaper is reporting uh, that Tinubu's team, considering 69,000 naira, as negotiation nears closure, governors push for average of 52,000 naira. Of course, the, the lead story there, minimum wage debate, market realities peg ideal minimum wage pay for Nigerian workers at 104,400 naira. I think we've, also, we've conversed this uh, time pass, but that if you look at the rate of inflate, the value of the Naira over time, between when the um, minimum wage was fixed at 30,000 some five years ago and now, you'll be talking about about 140,000 uh, Naira, but somewhere above 100,000. And this report from the Guardian newspaper is saying that the market reality is per guide minimum wage Four Nigerian workers at 104,400. 
And of course, there you also have it that Tinubu's team, considering 69,000 naira as negotiation, near closure. Of course, 69,000, very close to what Godwin or Baseki of Edo State is giving to Edo workers right now. Now, if we just go back to the this day newspaper, of course, the story above the masthead of this day newspaper. Tinimbu, Buhari, governors observe, eat prayers, implore Nigerians to show charity to the vulnerable. Ex-president raises the alarm over unchecked population growth. Saraki orders pray for Nigeria's unity. Well, former President, President Mohamed Buhari talking about uh, population growth unchecked. I don't know what, he did not take any action in that direction in eight years in office. But now, merely warning about population growth, I don't think it costs any, uh, any eyes for me, because if he were that concerned, perhaps in the eight years he was on the saddle as president, some measures would have been taken to uh, tame the population growth, but nothing was done. So it's easy to talk when you're out of power. Now, another story on the front page of the this day newspaper, KPNG, Nigeria must join international mining bodies to attract foreign direct investment to its over 44 solid minerals. Of course, the Minister of Solid Minerals, Dela Lake, well, has been doing a lot of talking, taking some measures, but we want to see how the foreign investment will come, and that is what KM, KPMG uh, is uh, recommending, that Nigeria needs to join international mining bodies. I'm sure Dela Lake will be listening to that as part of measures to um, bring investment into that sector. There should be any Nigeria, huge foreign uh, currency, as it were. Now, the Nation newspaper, it, it all had a sacrifice key to nation building, says Tinumbu. Shetima Buhari Sultan converse it Converse, massive food production. Ex-president raises the alarm over danger of population explosion. Of course, political leaders, religious leaders, all uh, wishing Nigerians well and urging Nigerians uh, to cultivate the virtue of unity, showing of love, charity to the less privileged. These are familiar homily when it comes to religious festivals like this. Now, the Punch newspaper, of course, the same lead story. Salah celebration. Tinubu Buhari Sultan can prefer solutions to hardship. President urges citizens to share with one another. Buhari seeks return to farm. Now, the New Telegraph newspaper, GDP. How Nigeria lost 95 trillion naira in five years to foreign firms' exit. Five major companies left in the first quarter of 2020, 2024, as over 60 firms exited Nigeria since the year 2020. Economy bleeding. The National Association of Chambers of Commerce, Industry, Mines and Agriculture, Nasima, warning there. Now, the Vanguard newspaper, not all gloom and doom. Foreign portfolio investors in massive return to Nigeria. The Vanguard newspaper is reporting. As market share rises to 28 month high, shows up external reserve. Analysts attribute development to CBN's hawkish monetary policy. So it's not all gloom and doom. Yes, portfolio investors finding their way back into Nigeria, but how long will they stay in this climb? That is what the question that will follow. Now, the Daily Sun newspaper, Tinubu preaches sacrifice as salad items prices rise. Foodstuff prices hit roof as tomato, pepper, rice. Others become unaffordable. Buhari seeks increased food production awareness on population explosion. Now, another story on the front page of the Daily Sun. Gone men, mass salad celebration in Sokoto, kill six abduct scores. Well, if we just look at uh, the foreign newspaper quickly, just put on the Daily News of Zimbabwe. We just look at the Daily News of Zimbabwe there. If you just put it up there, uh, Director, yes. Shivoya in soup over Zek Tender. 
talking about a businessman, uh, Wiker Shivoya, who is being probed by the Zimbabwe Anti-Corruption Commission over $40 million uh, Zimbabwe Electoral Commission uh, contract to supply materials. Yes, in Zimbabwe, the, the Anti-Corruption Commission, they're taking action. Now, if we just look at the UK papers quickly, the Times of London, put up the Times of London there, the Times of London. Yes, go for the Jugolag, Sunak Oj, of course, the Conservative Party trailing. And the ministers are urging Rishi Sunak, the Prime Minister, to go on personal attack on uh, Kestama, the Labour leader, who seems to be rubbing his palms, waiting to win the election and become the next Prime Minister. But if we put up um, the independent newspaper of UK there, yes. Penny Mordant urges party to rally, but admits Tories are underdogs in the election that is coming up. They are underdogs and likely to lose the election. Now, if we look at uh, the Financial Times, Financial Times newspaper, yes, uh, Reeves uh, pledges to tear down EU trade barriers in a reset of, for relations. Of course, Rachel Rees, the uh, shadow chancellor, is saying when they come to power, she's likely to be the chancellor, the first female to occupy that position if and when Labour wins. Ruben Ayo Rafael. Wow, well, it's not a question of whether uh, the Tories are going to lose the election. They will lose. <laughs> At least let the election happen the first. The of the <laughs> ministers <laughs> is that, look, uh, so that it will not be a catastrophic defeat. If I think already many of the member, or, or members of the Conservative Party have accepted defeat, what they are trying to do is damage limitation. And now, many of them say that the uh, campaign by Rishi Sunak is to generalize one issue that the, the party has been using to challenge uh, Kestama is tax. Okay? Apart from tax, what else? So that's now why out of desperation. They're saying that uh, Rishi Sunak should adopt a personal tax. Well, if he wants to take that uh, uh, option, I don't know whether it will help him, but he, he may, come at, he may, he may uh, uh, consider the option of coming to recruit uh, you know, <laughs> advisors from Nigeria, <laughs> because we have tested people here who will abuse Kestama <laughs> from morning to night. Attack dogs, <laughs> attack lions. <laughs> but, but, you know, even uh, the Reform UK, Nigel Farage, has overtaken the, uh, the conservatives. So that he's now boasting that uh, the conservatives, if they like themselves, they should come and team up with him <laughs> so that they can be in opposition together. And there has been no dent to the lead by... Uh, Labor. Labor. We're just waiting for uh, July 4, and Labor would win. Mm. Quickly, you had another story about companies exiting from uh, Nigeria. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> all of them decide the same reasons. A poor business environment, energy cost, insecurity, foreign exchange crisis. And I have a, a table here prepared by one Dr. Vincent Mwane. He said in 2024, five companies have left, including Microsoft, uh, Total Energies, PZ Cousins, Kimberly Clark, Diageo. In 2023, more than 10 companies left Unilever, Procter Gamble, Glasso Smith Klein, ShopRite, Sanofi Aventis, Ikuno Nigeria, Bold Food and, and Jumia. Look at all those BB companies. In 2022, over 15 left, inclu including Universal Rubber, Gorgeous Meta. Airland uh, products in 2021, Tower Aluminium left. Uh, Shores Foam left. In 2020, in, let me see, please. Uh, in 2020, over 10 companies, including UTC, including uh, Delhi Foods, including Nasco Fiber. And we, with all this calculation, we told Nigeria in five years lost 94 trillion of output. Imagine, 94 trillion. Of That's why Nasima said the economy is bleeding. So those who argue that this government must do something to stop this mass exodus of uh, investors from yeah. Nigeria, they have a point. Okay. It's so bad for the Conservative Party now that candidates 
for empty positions now. Do not put the Conservative the Party name so, <laughs> in their campaign <laughs> leaflets and logo any longer. Many of them are campaigning even for independence. independence. <laughs> so that's how bad it is. And that's to speak volumes about when you do not do well, yes. you fall into problems. Let me tell you, it's so bad now. Now, Nigel Farage is not saying he's second in the polls. He's already targeting to become next Prime Minister of England for the Reform Party. Well, he will not win. He's that, running. That, that, he's that, running. That, that, that's how bad... He's running for a seat at the House of Commons. No, no, I know what I'm saying. Yes. I know what I'm saying. About he, he cannot win. No, with he's his, targeting uh, in the next general election. After this one. Uh, to oh. be Prime Minister. That's what Nigel Farage is saying. So it is that bad now that both the Conservative and even the Labour... Things are not well with Labour. I do not see a I long reign I don't think it is of the Labour Party. That's why the likes of Reform are talking about. We have to go. We have to go. We'll take a short break now. Thank you.